Talk to me a little bit about trying to get your content and the theme to match up. Was that easy, hard? Well, um, yes and no. Mm. Mostly no in the beginning. It was an evolution because um, my brand, the way I teach and what I'm all about, it's kind of like, uh, it's very simplistic. It's easy, it's fun, and that's the aesthetic that I wanted in this particular theme, but I also wanted it to show off everything that I do, and that's the issue I was having, that's why it's taken me a while, is I was really kind of, um, my thought process, process was evolving as I was going through all this, trying to decide how am I gonna tell my story? Mm -hmm. And I remember talking with you about this a little bit earlier, I was calling it, the information architecture of my site. <laughs> and you said, well, that's just kind of a techie way to say, you know, how are you gonna get your story across? That's right. And that's really it. And getting my story across is not um, simple. Right. But I needed to make it simple. So I had to find, I wanted to find a really clean looking, um, simple site that I was able to put a lot of content into and, and organize the way, the way I wanted. Yeah. yeah. So you're not just presenting photos, you're presenting so many different aspects of what you do for Westcott, for all the other companies you've worked with. Yeah, you know, three you're teaching things. your books. Yeah. That's a lot to tell on one website. So I, I saw you go through trying to pick a theme and then realizing that it didn't quite fit your content and having to adjust that. Yes. <laughs> Well, that's the uh, the cool thing about themes is they have all kinds of things you might need and want and can use and wow, it's already done. But then as I was going through it, I realized, you know, I don't like that slider mm -hmm. and I'm not sure I like this thing over here. What can we do to change it? And Ben was great about looking around for various plugins to yeah. bring in and alter the look and function of the site a little bit. And what happened was I had so many plugins on the first theme that, that I was using, it was it was plug-in intensive and the theme sort of went away. Uh -huh. So that's when I decided to look for a new theme that might better incorporate what I wanted to do and say. And of course, what I wanted to say had evolved <laughs> during that period of time. So I kind of came in like, Bleh, I need a site and I gotta figure out how to do it and, and uh, what am I gonna say? And this is all sort of happening as I went along. And you are a perfect case study because of that. And, and I see this with my clients, I see this with almost everybody who starts down the path of working on a website. You think you're building a website and then you find out you're really assessing your entire business model, figuring out your marketing message, rewriting your biography, second guessing the photo you have. It's not all about the technology, right? You went through all that. So. It's true. And I'm also trying to revise my branding and uh, my logo. I mean, you'll see at the top of my website, it's still kind of the same logo I had on my old website and I'm trying to refresh and rebrand that too at the same time. Plus, my hair's different, you know, I need a new <laughs> picture. I right. gotta get all kinds of things going on here. Yeah, and that's a really typical scenario. So I've seen lots of people starting to redesigning their site and then get stuck in, I haven't had my photo updated. <laughs> and that's why I think it's really helpful before you even go down the path of choosing a theme to spend a little time thinking about what's the content, what's the story, what's the message. Yes. If all I have are slideshows from my photos from India, that photocratic site that I set up for Jasper in seven minutes before lunch is probably all you need. But if you have a more complex story like Aaron Manning, you may have to spend more time thinking about how do I find a theme that really can handle all of these different aspects of who I am and what yes. my message is. And how do you make a complex story look simple? Right. Yes, and so finding the right theme, thinking about your content, and getting a little help along the way, that was your secret sauce, is that? <laughs> yes, so far, so far so good. I'm, I'm getting closer. I was all excited about trying to get things onto my website, you know, even though it's still supposed, it is a work in progress, and I wanted to show it off as that, but at the same time, I wanted it to look as good as it could. <laughs> yes. If I'm gonna yes. have all of you look at it. So um, my uh, portfolio page is, is uh, that's what I was feverishly working on like moments before I got on this call. So I'm still uploading pictures to it. It's, it's so happening. My secret agenda for Erin was getting her on the show was gonna motivate her to finish her site. <laughs> <laughs> I think it, it worked, didn't it? <laughs> it worked. Remember that tip about setting a deadline that you really have to live to? <laughs> it helps a lot. Oh, look at the time. <laughs>